as I'm sitting here drinking my wine on a Monday night, I want to talk to you about tradition. No other sport respects its history like NBA basketball, and you should uh, you should be drinking wine for that shit. And it's completely understandable why people don't like many changes throughout the NBA history in order to compare errors as much as NBA analysts or even NBA players sometimes do. And I might be one of those people. Tradition should be nurtured, valued, and passed through generation to generation to preserve the natural course of history. But unfortunately for traditions, we live in 2023, where NBA is an uh, enormous business and uh, the regular season has been dying for quite for quite some time. Once upon a time, regular season used to be uh, very important in order to determine seeding. And it, the start of regular season was something that I was looking for. And I've been watching NBA basketball since about 2007. But as the time went on, regular season became less and less important for teams and ultimately obsolete for NBA fans. Growing up in Ukraine, I was excited for the start of NBA regular season. Coming back from school, I made sure I put on NBA TV for some reruns of the games of that day or you see those little highlights packages like one minute highlight that you used to make back in the day. I don't even, I don't even know if they make them anymore, but those used to be fire. I was interested in how every team was doing and ultimately I was very excited for the MVP race. And the first one I remember was like Derrick Rose year. Derrick Rose won it. I wanted Derrick Rose to win so bad because that Chicago Bulls team were so exciting. And regular season was very fun to watch that year. Unfortunately, as the time passed, a couple things happened. As the travel gets easier, uh, playing away gets easier and easier. Thus, it makes playing away playoff series less tr difficult, stressful, difficult. Yeah. And teams nowadays don't mind to play away, away games. And we have seen plenty of game sevens go to the away team because it's just not as difficult as it, as it was 20, even 30 years ago. Some teams decided why would we put our team at risk of injuries or over overplaying our main guys just for some seating while we can go go into away games and just steal one on the road and we Gucci. But that shifted the league massively. But also, can I blame LeBron for this? First known instance of the load management, uh, at least the one I remembered, was in 2014 when Greg Popovich set the whole San Antonio Spurs team on the bench when they had a national TV game against Miami Heat. That's the first time I remember people started talking about it. LeBron was clearly learning. I believe that LeBron was the one who started that trend of not caring about regular season. And to his credit, he should have, because Eastern Conference from 2015 to 2018 was absolutely garbage. So LeBron could have been a four seed with a very average team and go through the East without any problems. They beat Boston in on the road in game seven. Toronto, don't get me started on Toronto. They beat Indiana Pacers, uh, was it in seven games as well? But they, that, one, that, one, that one was at home. Four seasons when LeBron was uh, with the Cavs, 2015, 16, 17, and 18, they were first seed only once in 2016 when they won the title. My point not is to blame LeBron per se, but LeBron James is a transcender for the league. And whatever he does, league follows. And as soon as we start having load managements for LeBron James, we started having them everywhere. As soon as LeBron stopped caring about playoff seating and pl playing away games sometimes in the playoffs, the league stopped caring too. Anyways, that brings us back to regular NBA regular season. A lot of the teams did not care about it and for teams like Detroit Pistons, they still don't even care about it, losing 17 straights, here we go. But I believe the in-season ter in tournament changed that thing dramatically and we already see uh, a couple of results. We already seen a massive interest from the fans and the teams actually play really hard. As I'm recording this, uh, they about to start their game. So from the early beginnings in 2008 till uh, this NBA season, 2023-24, the in-season tournament was in plans. Uh, and I believe it, it's it's a huge success. From the games we've seen, the last group game uh, of the in-season tournament was very exciting where Celtics were leading Bulls by 30 and still hack a Drummond because they needed a point difference. And it's something that we've never seen with NBA basketball, which is teams caring about score difference, but also still trying to attack even though it's a blowout. Know about the rules, unwritten rules of the NBA that we don't score at the end of games to not humiliate the other teams. But European system proved that if you have a difference in points, it can actually make those late game blowouts a little bit interesting. Yeah, of course, it means that stars are gonna be play long, playing longer and at the risk of injuries, but if you need the point difference, why not? Or your bench has to do the thing. So, what am I trying to get at? 
NBA in-season tournament is an amazing thing. The only thing that sucks are the courts, but uh, let's see what kind of Las Vegas court they come up with. If the court has red, you can sign me up to never watch the basketball games from there because it is absolutely disgusting. The only court I like was the Bucks because it looks normal. Lakers, kind of sick. OKC was okay. Indiana was weird because I don't think that's their colors, but I. Indiana Pacers look like, for me, they're favorites because, oh, holy shit, that team can score the ball and it's one game elimination tournament and they can they can do a whole lot Tyrese Halliburton this is for you but the idea with courts is kind of interesting because you watch the game visually and you can tell oh this is an in-season game tournament the court is absolutely disgusting so we in for a treat but yeah if it made if it makes LeBron James play harder in uh, the beginning of November uh, through December I'm absolutely all in for it and NBA in in-season tournament it's one of the best ideas the NBA has had in a while. It's that kind of change of tradition that was required in order to keep the interest because at the end of the day, NBA is a business and business needs to make money. Let me know what you think about the in-season tournament. Do you like it? Do you dislike it? And let me know what kind of other weird ideas can NBA implement to make the regular season matter. Again, I'll see you in the next video. Peace.